What's up guys, for today's video we're going to put to the test three solar fire starters. Let's see what they're all about and which ones are the best. For this first one, that's pretty cool. When you pull this out, it opens automatically. As you can see, it's on a spring. I like that a lot. What you can do is grab one of these char cloth pieces and stick it into here. And then what we're going to do is look at the sun. Sun is over there, so parallel to the sun. And then we're going to like navigate it so all the sun is concentrates right on that char cloth. And look, it smokes instantly. Wow, look at that. I can't believe how fast it works. Try to not look at this concentrated light because it's actually going to hurt your eyes a little bit. Or just have really good sunglasses. You don't really have to keep looking at the light. You can just kind of look it from a side view. And let's see. That's it. It's light up already. Nope, not yet. Maybe a little bit longer. Let's get it going so it actually works. I can't believe how easy it is and effortless to start the fire on a sunny day like that. Getting a little bit of a clouds. So the clouds need to pass so that way it's easy to do. Even with a little bit of clouds, I see a little bit of smoke coming off. I'm actually going to try my char cloth, this little pocket side here. I think they're a little bit softer, so it might be a little bit easier to start a fire with these things. Gotta get my coconut husk ready. And simply what I'm gonna do is grab this char cloth and fold it a couple of times. Roll it up, boom, and stick it into this little spring holder. Stuff it in all the way. Okay, and then we're going to hold it on the sun. Almost instantly starting to smoke. Even though it's a little bit cloudy, no big deal. You see the smoke coming out? That's what we want. Oh yeah, that's a lot of smoke starting to come out. As long as clouds don't get heavier, I think I'll be able to start the fire, no problem. Just gotta be patient. And not a lot of movement. You know what? I think it's hot already. I'll pull this out. Yep, it's already hot. So I'm gonna get my coconut husk and put it inside our coconut husk. Look at all that smoke. Chalk cloth almost must have with this little gadgets. Now just gonna shake it and we're going to get the fire going with this little thing. And there you go, we got the start of fire. And if you look at the sky, you see there's partial clouds, not those heavy clouds, but it's still blocking the sun. It's still sunny out here, but as you can see, it's not 100% sun with these weird clouds out here spread out all over. And it still works. Definitely thumbs up for me. By the way, don't leave it unattended like that. You might start a forest fire or some kind of fire. You want to put it away after the use, so that way it doesn't start fire automatically on the reflection. Because if I reflect it, you see, we can even start a fire like this to the side. So you gotta be careful not to leave it unattended. Getting a little bit heavier cloud, so I might have to wait till some comes back. So this is one disadvantage about this little gadget fire starter. If you do not have a sun for like a week, sometimes it happens, even around here, it rains non-stop, we don't see sun for like almost a week. So this gadget become useless for like a whole week. So I'll have to wait till the clouds move and we'll come back and finish it off. But for this gadget, this is what we got. This little plate like that, looks like a puck. You pull this out like this, boom. You got your parabolic mirror inside here, and on this side, what you do is just take this off. And then this piece right here goes inside here. Boom. 
and into here we're going to put our chalk cloth by the way you can buy chalk cloth on Etsy Amazon eBay whatever people make it and sell it all the time and what we're going to do is just stick it in like this make sure the glass is very clean because if it's dirty it's not going to work that good boom like this this is what it's going to look of course if you don't have chalk cloth you can use dry grass dry leaves something that is flammable that is really easily and it should work just as well just have to be patient with chalk cloth it's a little bit easier for sure you see the clouds going this way so we have a big opening right here but I gotta walk fast before other clouds come in once again we're gonna put it on the sun and level it so all that sun is concentrated in the middle like this once again starting to be cloudy a little bit I think we can get it done anyways oh yeah sun came out, came out a little bit let's see I gotta see smoke if it's not smoking that means nothing there it's not light up yet go away clouds let's do it once again fold your fire starter like this and stick it into here and then we're going to oh it's getting sunny let's see if it's going to do it just a little bit of sun come on guys oh yeah that's it it's smoking a little bit I see it turned white a little bit even with the clouds it works not 100% clouds but a little bit of clouds you see it's hot so now I'm going to get my coconut husk up and put it inside our coconut husk boom and it's really starting to smoke boom and we got fire and for the next one this is the biggest one that is a bucket size that I found online the bigger the better doesn't it it should be a lot easier to start a fire with it it also came with a fatwood fire starter you seen what is fatwood is I showed you how to harvest it if you haven't I'll put links in description so this is how this one works all you have to do is just open it up if you want to close it close it like this very easy sun came out we're gonna put it to the test in a minute get yourself this fat wood make sure it's dry and I guess they want you to stick it in here like that put it on the sun you see how much sun concentrate on the stick that's what you want but you want to concentrate it kind of on the bottom of the stick I guess let me try to put it like this it's a little bit too low also I probably should have made a bunch of flakes so it would be easier to start and light it up but I think it'll be cool to see if it's going to light up the whole stick I can see it smoking quite a bit I can see that raisin just coming out like crazy wow that's very powerful the whole stick lighting, lining up so good fat food is cool but you need a knife and flake it up again I'm going to get my chalk cloth fold it one time or two times whatever you want put it in like this and it's going to light up instantly look at that it's starting to smoke almost instantly and once I see smoke on the chalk cloth it's pretty much done I'm just gonna make sure it's light up but you see the chalk cloth is turning kind of white oh I lost it it's so hot you see how chalk cloth turned white that means it's ready to go so I'm gonna put it on some coconut husk or something very easily flammable like dry leaves grass whatever and boom we got a fire going easy I'm honestly glad there was not 100% sunny so that way we really put it to the test with a little bit of clouds not those heavy clouds it still works really well <laughs> just before use make sure you clean it all up so that way it's polished and gets all the sun all the light and look how easy it is you fold it in 
and put it away in some kind of pouch so that way it's not exposed it doesn't burn something else that you don't want to burn I really like this one a lot too because it's very very compact you take this out stick it into here and turn it and then you just close it together and like it's a little pack it's a little heavier than the other ones but definitely really compact and durable most durable but again this ones are really durable as well maybe it feels like plastic this one it's very lightweight because it's plastic and I love how it's easy to like boom close it and every time it will open up so very so very easy to put it away oh wow actually it comes off very easily as well and you can put it back together easily too so when you pack it you can take it away put it in or if you don't want to take it apart you can just put it in and there and then it will stay folded well guys that's pretty much it let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and of course i'll see you next time